L by 4. First of all, what is L and the construction of floor beam? Guys, you can see this is RCC column. So from this center line of the column to that column, that is other column. So the span between two column is L. So this is the distance between two column, which is L. Now, what is L by 4? L by 4 means, so this is the spacing or the length between two column, which is about 19 feet and 9 inches, okay? So L by 4 means 19 feet and 9 inches should be divided by 4. Then you will get this length from this center of the column to this place. This is L by 4. At this place, we have negative bending moment. When the load comes are applied on the top of this floor beam, okay, so here we have positive bending moment at the mid. Mid is L by 2. So total length divided by 2, so this is its mid. So here we have positive bending moment, which is maximum. So here at the distance of L by 4, we have negative bending moment, okay. I have already discussed its diagram, so this is L by 4. So therefore, to resist negative bending moment, we are providing extra steel rods or bent up bar. But in this construction of floor beam, you can see they placed extra steel rods. How? As you can see. At this place, at this section, we have two steel rods in upper portion or in top portion of this floor beam. One, two steel rods we have. At the bottom, we have three steel rods. Okay, so this is after L by 4. You can see this is L by 4 and this is after L by 4. So I am talking about L by 4. If you see here, guys, at the top section, we have three steel rods at this place. That's why, because we have extra one steel rod at the middle of this top section so this is called extra steel rod which is provided at the distance of l by 4 if you see guys here we have two sidebars one is this one and that is the other one so we have two sidebars here also we are providing these two sidebars to resist negative bending moment if you come after l by 4 so you can't see any sidebars and any other middle bar so this is called l by 4 same construction you will see on this side guys you can see here so this is l by 4 now guys if you see let me guide you for its stirrups details at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing the stirrup spacing closely compared to its mid because here we have positive bending moment and at the end of the beam or at the end of the support we have negative bending moment so here guys you can see the spacing of stirrup is closely which is about five inches guys you can see clearly so spacing is five inches so after ending of l by four you can see the spacing is eight inches okay so from five to eight inches we have the spacing of stirrups now guys the other question as I told you in many videos that the stirrups hooks should be provided alternately. They already did, guys, you can see that is hook. So the other is opposite of this one. This is the opposite of each other. Okay. So if you see one thing more, that is the bent of hooks. So hooks are bent on 90 degree. It should be provided on 135 degree. As I told you in many videos and I already show you in practical uh, short videos okay so therefore this is the uh, details about stirrups of l by 4 after ending of l by 4 you can see the spacing is maximum compared to l by 4 same guys you can see here so this is the column center 